Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. And today lecture we are going to talk about the unit weight. That what is unit weight and why it's very important in civil engineering. So unit weight is basically the weight of a material and one unit of volume. Now how to explain this? I would like to explain this concept with the help of the example. Now let's consider this is any cube. And this cube has a dimension, the length, the height of the tube, tube is 1 meter and also the length of the tube is also 1 meter and let's suppose the width of this tube is also 1 meter. Now how, how we can say that the unit weight of let's suppose steel is 5000 or something kilogram per cubic meter. Now what this means? It means that how much weight of the material is present in this cube with the height of 1 meter, length of 1 meter and width of 1 meter. Let's suppose we say that the unit weight of water, we know that the unit weight of water is equal to the 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Now what does this mean? This means that the, that the 1000 kilogram, the 1000 kilogram of water is present in the one cubic meter of volume. The one cubic meter means that the dimension of this cube will be one. Height will be one, length will be one, and width of one meter. When we have a cube of one meter length, one meter height, and width of one meter, then we have water of thousand kilogram. Thousand kilogram of water can come in this cube. That's why we say that the unit weight of water is thousand kilogram per cubic meter or we say that the unit weight of water is equal to the 62.4 pound per cubic feet. In the similar case, if I consider this cube, with the dimension of height is equal to 1 foot, with the length also equal to 1 foot, and the width also equal to 1 foot. So, the weight of the water that can come in this cube will be equal to the 62.4 pound. 62.4 pound of water can come in this cube. But in pound per cubic foot, we have the unit weight of water is 62.4. Similarly, we say that the unit weight of the steel bar, that the unit weight of steel is equal to the 7850 kilogram per cubic meter which is very high than that of the water so it means that the 7850 kilogram kilogram of steel can come in this one cubic meter of the volume 7850 kilogram of steel can come in this one cubic meter of cube similarly the unit weight of the steel and the unit of pound per cubic foot is 490 pound per cubic foot. So 490 pound of steel can come in this one unit volume, 490. In the similar way, the unit weight of the the unit weight of the PCC, which is plain cement concrete, which is without the steel bar their unit weight is 2400 kilogram per cubic meter or in the unit of the uh, pound per cubic foot it is equal to the 150 pound per cubic feet so in the similar case as i discussed with the water and steel the pcc it means 2400 kilogram kilogram 24 sorry here 2400 kilogram plain cement concrete can come in one cubic meter of the volume of cube and also here 150 pound of PCC can come in this cube so it will be pound per cubic feet and also the unit weight of the the unit weight of RCC RCC means reinforced cement concrete it is equal to the 2500 kilogram per cubic meter which is 100 uh, kilogram higher than that of the PCC because the steel is a higher weight. So 
and n unit of the pound per cubic foot unit weight of the RCC is 156 pound per cubic feet. So in the similar case as we discussed with the water steel in PCC the weight of the RCC means the unit weight of the RCC means the 2500 kilogram of uh, RCC can come in one uh, cube with the dimension of one meter. With the 156 means that the 156 pound 156 pound of RCC can come in one uh, one foot uh, with the one foot height with the one foot length and one foot width of cube. Now I hope that you guys understand that what is meant by unit weight and it is a very important quantity in the civil engineering because every material has different unit weight because it's the nature of the material that uh, the weight of the concrete is different from that of the steel bar because steel bar is more heavier in, than that of the cement concrete. Similarly, the water is less heavier than the cement and as well as from the steel bar. Hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.